look at my lovely curvy shaving. Mm -hmm. And that's as it came out of the hand plane. Beautiful little shaving. It's nice and smooth, you know, it's not bad at all. Like this shaving here came out of another plane, all open, not a, not a tight curl. No. Areas seem to have curled more, uh, like here, for instance, than there. And it's rough. Uh, if you look at the texture of it, it's actually quite rough. I hope you can see that. But it's all like splintery. There's a reason for that, which I want to explain in this video. Now, I took these two shavings with two hand planes. The number seven Stanley Bailey and the Stanley Bailey, well, the number four, the smoother. Okay? Now, I also have, just for the, chuck it in for the mix, we also have a number five here. Now, there are some fundamental differences other than the size, okay? Ask the mister, she knows. Anyway, so you see, this number seven here has a Victor hand-forged plain iron installed. It's a lovely plain iron, which is about three millimeters or eighth of an inch thick. And that produces a really nice shaving. Now, if I place this over, you know, pass it over this piece of wood here, and I'm going against the grain on the actual um, piece of wood, the, uh, the grain's actually going that way. It's fact, I'm going against the end of the grain. So that, you know, just to... Uh, exaggerate the problem. So I, if I run this across, you know, this piece of wood, had a shaving, as you can see, it creates nice curly shaving. Lovely, isn't it, you know? You can make earrings out of that, couldn't you? <laughs> right, so that makes lovely shaving, right? Now, this number five, this, again, it's a Stanley uh, Bailey, a number five, this is quite an old one, it's a wartime um, hand plane. Uh, so it's got the sort of like bake light or plastic uh, turn screw there for your depth adjustment, what have you. I put new totes and stuff and new knob on it, and then I machine it when I get a coat of paint as well. I know it's not the proper colours, but you know, it's now usable too, and I use this one quite a lot, it's my go to. All right, so let's take a shaving with the Stanley Bailey number five. That too is producing. A lovely curly shaving, a thick shaving again, because that's what I'm, you know, I'm doing it on purpose. Nice thick shaving, just so I can demonstrate this. And it's curly, yeah? Okay. There's a part of the plane that makes it curl, and I'll explain that in a moment. Now, this other hand plane, this fairly original Stanley Bailey number four, a reasonably old one. It's not that old, actually. I think it's like, must be post 1970s, I think, looking at it. And this particular one, it is a smoothing plane, it's quite short. Okay, if you get hold of an, uh, well, a number one smooth, which I don't have, because I can't afford one, well, they're about, they can fetch like two to three grand. You must be going crazy. It's virtually unusable as well, it's just nostalgia, I suppose. But um, yeah, it's collectible. Now this particular hand plane, standard, it's got the standard plane iron, okay, the chip breaker, uh, it was just all standard. The lever cap is, is quite tight on there. But let's take a shaving with this hand plane. And let's see if there is a difference between the two. That's it. So you might say this is going to be down to setup. Well, I'm going to argue it's down to design. So I'm going to run this. Oh, you take the shaving. Can you see the difference there? The shaving, instead of being a really tight, curly shaving like that one there I took. Yeah, really tight and curly. Right, that tells me that the chip breaker is doing its job. This one is open. In fact, this is probably the best shaving I've had off at this one. A lot of the other shavings have been really open, like that one, very sort of like long, coming off like that. This one's not quite so bad. It's still a little bit deformed, a bit like me. <laughs> yeah, it's not a great shaving. Yeah, it's very deformed, it's broken. It, had, it doesn't seem to really, uh, it seems to have been forced into curl and not actually happy to do it. And that's down to the hand plane itself, okay? It's not the wood. So, what I'll do, yeah, it's just for argument's sake, I'll, I'll take another shaving with the number four. Yeah, again, very open, open curl. Not a very great shaving. Now, it can be for a couple of reasons, right? Maybe more. One of those reasons would be the chip breaker. Is your chip breaker in the right position? So this chip breaker, I would argue, is probably set too far back. But you see what also I'm getting? Can you see that's quite far back from 
the plane now, but you can go up to like two and a half millimeters. I would say that is probably around two mil, two, mil, two millimeters. So we might experiment with that in a moment. But let me grab the uh, plane iron at the uh, and the chip breaker out of the number seven, which has the Victor hand forged plane iron. And uh, I think it's a Clifton chip breaker in there. I'm not Humson certain. I can't remember, to be honest. Now this one is actually set probably a similar distance from the actual plane iron. Very, 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 very similar. About two millimetres, I'd say. Okay. Yeah, that was producing a nice long shaving. It can also be down to the design of the chip breaker. You see, this particular chip breaker is all, that's all machined and it's nice. It's like a bent bit of steel. Right, it's not particularly pretty. I have obviously cleaned up around, I've tried to flatten the back of it, um, make sure it meets with the, the plain iron. Um, but it's still, this particular one is still getting a little bit of shaving that's caught between the plain iron and the chip breaker, which is not ideal. But I don't think that's necessarily what's causing it. I'm getting a juddy, you see. It, it feels, uh, how do I explain it? When you pass. Stanley Bailey, uh, for number seven or number five, both with three millimeter plane irons in it. This one happens to have just the um, a little Chinese plane iron in there, which I've made to fit, and it works perfectly, well, perfectly fine. It's a nice, nice piece of steel. It was poorly machined and it didn't fit properly, even though they said it would. Um, it's got the original pretty crappy chip breaker, but it still works. Now I'm going to argue that because I'm finding some some of the other hand planes that have um, an original plane iron, I can see the benefits of the three millimeter plane irons. I really can. When I use any of these hand planes, get, um, the ones with the uh, three millimeter plane irons in, uh, the difference between that and the standard plane iron, the two, uh, the two millimeter plane iron, is considerable. I mean, in use. I find that that judders, and that's just the little Stanley, original Stanley plane iron, and that doesn't. That does not judder at all. Well, you wouldn't expect it to. Look at the thickness of this. It's substantial, isn't it? That isn't. That's flimsy. Yeah? They've still got to do the same job. But then, obviously, that's going to be more... Uh, it's going to hold its, you know, its position and uh, less vibration, less juddering than that. So what I will do is see if I uh, can actually make it a little bit better by... Moving the chip breaker a little bit closer and cleaning those shaving. Can you see what's happened there? Right, so ideally, I would, oh, I don't know actually, that's no, it is married up quite nicely. There's no gap behind it. What it is is the pressure because the, the way this works with the actual lever cap, the pressure of the lever cap is there, okay, and that squeezes that down. I don't think there's an, you can get enough pressure on that personally, not with that. Not with that leave, not with that um, chip breaker. So I'm gonna move it a bit closer and see if it makes a difference to the shaving. Do, 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 do. Let's just go to about a millimetre or so. A little bit closer and see if that helps. Now if it does help, I haven't done this yet, so it's a bit of a experiment. If it does help, it stand a reason that the two millimetre plane irons requires the chip breaker to be a little bit closer than the three millimetre plane irons. Now I've gone to about, about a millimetre from the edge. I think it's about a millimetre from the actual edge of the plane iron. But yeah, not quite, not quite true. Tap it over. That's it. Let's see if that's made any difference. I might actually go a little bit closer than that. Just touch. Go too close, you're not gonna have enough space between the actual chip breaker and the mouth of the plane. Yeah, you know, the hole which the blade comes out of. It'll be too close. There won't be room for the shaving, and then it'll jam up again. It won't win. It's quite hard to get it, get it close enough without it moving when you tighten it up. That's something with these chip break, um, these chip breakers because they're thin. As you tighten it up, effectively, what happens is it squeezes it down and it's moving it at the same time away from the edge of your plane iron. Move it a bit that way. Let's do that. That's it. Just tap it up just to make sure. Okay, I am probably. I'm really close now. Probably too close. Yeah, try. It. Let's give that a go. 
All right, I'm about a millimetre from the uh, edge of the planer, on the sharpened edge, the honed edge. Just plonk it back in there to make sure we've got enough tension on the uh, lever cap. Yes, there is plenty of tension there. And that's dropped in nicely. All right, at the moment, because I've basically moved the chip rake and, and the actual plane iron away, it's made the plane iron sit further out. So I'm going to need to engage the plane iron with a piece of wood. But that, hopefully that solves it. But I'm sure there's other people having a similar issue. Okay, try that. Mm. Not convinced. Remember, I'm going against the grain. It's behaving like a scraper now. Now, this is the problem. When it's too close, can you see that the actual sawdust, it can't get out. So that chip breaker is now way too close. So you, you have to be far enough away for the, for the shavings to come out. No, that's no good. That's no good. So moving it closer hasn't helped. Do, 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 do. And all that's and all that's done is actually forced more sawdust between because it can't get out between the actual chip rake and the plane iron. So I need to clear that out of the way. And uh, it needs to be further away. So not quite as close as it was the first time, but much further or farther away. Further, further, farther. You are my father. <laughs> I am your father. Right, so I'm back to about two millimetres again. But is it going to be judder? It's the judder. That's really frustrating. Remember, I'm going against the grain. With the grain, it probably wouldn't have this situation or worry. But you see, the thing is, you have, the tool needs to work in all scenarios. The same as the other tools. Okay, that's two. Okay. Well, it's, it's deeper now. <laughs> right. Too deep. Feels better. Still not producing a great shaving. And I want a thick shaving to mimic the other ones. And that's, it's definitely feeling better. But you can see how it's shooting it out, then curling. It's definitely improved it. A bit deeper. Oh, quite good. Slipped on that one. I have to strain it off first and carry again. Okay. Carry on. Yeah, it just doesn't. That's not right. That's not right. It, it's it's literally leaving the plane. You know, it's coming out of the plane almost straight, and then creating a curl at the end, and it's rough. Now I'm going against the grain. Remember, let's have a look with the grain. If I turn that around, don't get me wrong. wrong it's, it's still a very good plane. But I'm really more about looking at the actual plain irons. My argument, I suppose, is I think you're better off upgrading all your planes to accept a 3mm plain iron. And I've got to do it with this one, I think. It's definitely better. It's just not enough. There is another, po there is another point, uh, another thing to... Uh, in its, well... Oh, there's one thing to acknowledge. You've got to remember the knob is closer and the shaving is trying to hit the knob and it's riding over the knob. So maybe there isn't enough room there for the shaving to form into the curl. Unlike these, which are longer. It might be as simple as that. Let's see if I can mimic it. Maybe I can get it to carry on. No. Yeah, there might be that. Oh, I don't know, actually. It feels juddery. It judders. And that's going with the grain. So that's a two millimetre plane line. Right, let's flip it around. Uh, I'll, I'll, get, I'll do this one that way round as well. We're going with the grain now. Let's put this. Um, and this number seven sharp, but it's not that sharp. I've been using it, you see. An old, an old construction number. Right, let's try. Right, if we can get set. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, nothing there. Right, 
Oh, God, this is still so much nicer. Oh, dear. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm going to place, just so you can hear it, okay, between these two planes, just so you can hear the difference, I hope you can hear it, between the two uh, microphones on the plane. Hello, more calling Olsen, coming Olsen. Right, so, <laughs> just listen to this. Noise, noise, stroke. Another one, I'll shut up this time. And now, let's listen to the number four. If I can attach it anywhere on the side here. I hope this works. If it doesn't, well, I, I apologise. I just want you to hear the difference. Put it on there. <laughs> the things I do to entertain you. Right, so here we go. Oh, it's quite thick shaving, mind. <laughs> I'm now going to do a thin shaving. More like what I was doing with the Stanley baby, number seven. <laughs> you hear that? Uh, it's launching its way through. Hmm. It's alright, but it's not. No, ugh, it's just nothing like the, the Stanley Valley number seven with, with the Victor. Yeah, it just feels different. That's a relatively thin shaving. Now let's place that microphone onto the, hope this is working, <laughs> onto the number five. We haven't used that for a bit, have we? There we go. Quite a thick shaving this time. Curling nicely. That's a bit of thin shaving. A lot of backlash on these. On the Stanleys. I've yet to come across a plane that doesn't have backlash. Even the Eden Nielsen's have a bit of backlash. Just, just nicer. It's just nice, it just does a better job. And this is the um, Chinese plane iron. I need to be a bit deeper than that. I think this plane needs flattening. Now, if you flatten the sole and hand plane, there's a possibility it will move because you release tension. And so it'll do exactly the same thing again. So, nice curly shaving. Place that back on. By the way, these are Hollyland microphones and they're absolutely terrible uh, after sale service. I've got a double set and the other one doesn't work anymore. It connects, but it doesn't actually uh, produce any audio. Very annoying. I've contacted them, they just want me to jump through hoops. I'm too busy. Right, so. If you can, get the Victor. Hand forged plane irons, if you can still get them, all similar. These are three millimeters thick and it has the Clifton chip, uh, Clifton chip breaker. It makes a huge difference to the quality of your shaving. I just was definitely, I know the plane's longer, but look, let's listen to that. You know, that's a, there's just no comparison, none whatsoever. Yeah, <laughs> it's just none. Right, and this happens to be the two millimeter plane iron in the number four and all those okay it does the job there's more resistance there's more resistance with this little plane than there is with that with the number seven and that number seven isn't sharp yeah do you know what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna be replacing all my plane irons with number uh with three millimeter thick plane irons because the number four with its two millimeter plane iron i I feel it's juddering. It feels like it's too much flex in the plain iron itself. Anyway, do you have a similar issue? And if you have a, a solution, please leave it in the comments down below because I also would like to know. Uh, but please be a little like button, maybe subscribe to the channel because then you get one face in your pocket every time I upload another video. So I hope you enjoyed my little demonstration. Let us know. Doodaloo.